what's up y'all so it's your girl renee and i am back to give you guys an update on literally everything going on with me so i tried to do vlogmas i feel like i say that every single year i tried to do vlogmas however um <laughs> of course it gets super busy in december um i work in retail and i've been working in retail for a very long time and i don't know why i try to take on so much in december as if like i'm not already busy um with work because obviously i work in retail that's our busiest season literally but not only that but you guys know i also started a customization business on the side which um i hope to have as one of my main sources of income in the future but i had a client that had four pairs of shoes they needed customized by christmas i was actually only able to do two just because of how busy and crazy my life has been this entire month um today is december 27th so merry christmas to you i hope that your holiday was and is you know um everything that you look for everything that you needed you know especially with this time right now because I know a lot of people weren't able to visit their families or be around people they really wanted to or travel like they wanted to and that is definitely the case for myself um but yeah i really want to update you guys on what's going on in rg modes world so i did customize some shoes like i said and here is a little clip of them yeah so i was super excited to do that custom i actually have the other two that i'm working on right now um which i told you about and you'll see me kind of update that if you're not following my sneaker customization ig page definitely go and follow it it is customs by underscore rg mode also i've been making some updates to my apartment so we're in the living room right now not a lot has changed in this like space here um i've tried to keep it super open and airy if you're not following my home decor page it's mostly where i post like home inspirational photos that i find i love on my story but also i post like little projects that i do around my own apartment or if i do something for someone else i do actually have two projects that are coming up that i've been working towards so that's also been keeping me quite busy and i think i talked about it i touched on it in one of my vlogs but um yeah so that page basically has a lot of you know inspirational stuff stuff that i'm doing at the moment and yeah so if you want to follow that it is i believe it's home decor by rg mode or it'll be here i can't can't keep up with my pages um but yeah i'm doing a lot of little projects around my apartment um so i've swapped a couple of things and i will take you through that whole ordeal it has been a journey literally i have been trying to like swap my apartment around for maybe about two three weeks now no not three weeks maybe two weeks now and it just turned two weeks like it's just been a process because i think i'm lacking some of the organizational things that i've been needing so i've been like gradually buying things as it comes to mind as i see where i'm like lacking organization and functionality of my apartment so that is a work in progress i still still will have to do like some type of like reveal and stuff like that because i do enjoy home decor and i know a lot of people who follow me or subscribe to me also like home decor and stuff like that so i will be posting uh those updates very soon whether it's like broken down between living room bedroom and i now have like an office space so stay tuned for that i am swapping my apartment around i have been purging a lot so let me show you real quick so literally I have six full bags, garbage bags, that I'm taking to the Goodwill today. That is why I'm all dressed and ready. It's about like 9.20ish a.m. right now on a Sunday and I am getting ready to go to the Goodwill to get rid of this stuff. I just really like, I hold on to stuff for the longest time and I just don't know why. I literally like, I am over it. So i just got rid of a lot of clothes that i felt like was um you know never gonna get worn things that i was holding on to for years things i had since college i even had some stuff from like when i used to live in new york like i just had stuff and i was just holding on to it and it was like not even my personal aesthetic anymore my going issue has been that my apartment is so dark so i've been trying to like brighten it up with like brighter colors and stuff like that and also trying to live a more minimal lifestyle and i'm trying to 
chisel down all of my stuff <laughs> i have a lot of stuff and my space is very limited so while i am in this smaller one bedroom apartment i am um, trying to figure out ways to make it more airy and open and um not so like just stacked with stuff um so yeah so i've been trying to do that and make it just seem more like upscale i want a more upscale like vibe well, um i've been doing a lot of bargain shopping and i've been doing a lot of repurposing of things and moving things around in my apartment to see what makes sense so yeah that's been like a going thing for me and i'm still still trying to find my way and figure it out um but other than that like that's really all i've been doing as far as like fashion is concerned beauty is concerned i know i've been trying to give you guys an update on my skincare um yeah my skin freaked out in september and it freaked out a little bit going into like october november like but it started in september and i just was trying to like figure out what was the exact reason like what like is it one product was it my diet what was it and um i'm still not a hundred percent but i definitely changed up my like skincare regimen um i changed up some of the beauty products that i've been using i changed up like trying to drink more water all of those like random things so stay tuned for an updated video on my um skin Okay, so my camera just died because, of course, I hadn't been using it, so I forgot that it needed to be charged. Um, so I'm about to get ready to get out of here. I have to figure out how I'm going to bring all six of those damn bags downstairs. I'm going to take the elevator. I hate my elevator in my building, so <laughs> this is going to be fun. Um, but yeah, the Goodwill that I'm going to is the one up north. I'm in the Chicagoland area, so I'm going to the one, I believe it's on Washington um yeah i'll take you guys with me because i definitely have a couple of things on my list that i want to like look for for my apartment and also because i did say i was doing a little project for um someone their bedroom revamp makeover i'm gonna look for a couple of pieces for them as well um but yeah so i also purchased a couple of things that i want to do i'm gonna show you guys just so that you know what's going on with my apartment. one of the major updates that i kind of will share with you guys is that i basically swapped over the closet area this used to be the closet area um is the area that's right off of the kitchen so right when you like basically that's the refrigerator and you walk right into the bedroom which i know is a little crazy but um i i feel like it can work if i make this area just feel a little different so i purchased some curtain curtains drapes they really like just punctuate a room in an area so i feel like this just looks naked and like undone so i got some curtains from target these are the 63 inch so they'll be like right enough space behind the bed and i just want to make you know it just come all together and so i thought since my bed is very like ivory colored um the black curtains will just make more sense in here and so here are some other organizational things so i got this like drawer bin organizer from the little five dollar spot at target and um i just need these like inserts so i can put like cosmetics in here and all that type of stuff and then i got an under the bed storage bin so i can put like a lot of my lounge wear so i got these three command hooks also to go with the drapes and i'm just going to like pop them up and just do like a real apartment safe um way to display my drapes okay so <laughs> i'm about to load up all of these bags into the elevator i have to order my uber first and see when he or she is going to be here um i changed my hat because honestly i'm like i don't feel like <laughs> worrying about my hat all day so i just put on a, a little beanie this is the beanie from um the mca and carhartt collection with uh, this other designer, I forgot what his name is, but yeah. And then I just threw on this jacket. It's not super warm today, but I don't like shopping around with a thick ass coat on. I feel too hot and my sweatshirt is super thick. Um, yeah, and then I just have on, you can't even see my outfit. So I have on these tie dye socks from Stadium Goods and then I have on my Yeezy, 500s in the slate i believe so yeah um so yeah 
in my little backpack. I'm like definitely super greened out. I'm like green and gray. That's my colors for today. If I can step back, you'll see my little fit. But yeah, so let me do that. Let's get out of here and I will reconvene with you guys when I get to Goodwill. <laughs> basically get a number you get a cart and you have to keep that cart with you and you have like i think 30 minutes to shop and then after 30 minutes they call your number like you must get in line or leave <laughs> so it's real serious y'all i have finally made it inside and like legit i was in line for like an hour an hour and it's not even that cold outside today but it definitely got chilly and like i said i don't have on a real jacket like a real coat to be outside outside so yeah, your girl is cold. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all what I find after a while. I'm gonna show y'all what I find after a while. Give me a second. Guys, okay, so when I'm thrifting, I typically look for things that are vintage or that are designer. Anything that is going to be like a super dope come up. Anything that looks like it could be like some money, right? You know what I'm saying? Like pieces that are like wool, silk. Um, dope denim, leathers, like, that is bomb. Um, so, I just found some wax denim ball main pants. <laughs> I don't even know if they fit me. I just feel like I have to buy them. Like, what? And then I will gift them to a friend. Y'all, like, <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little haul when I get home, of course, but... <laughs> So I just found these two mirrors, which are super dope. This one is only $6.99 and this one is $9.99. It's so massive. Um, I have a lot of this color in my living room. So I was thinking I could totally grab this and then clean it up really nicely. I could even paint it. I could paint it white. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm really contemplating both of these. So this Goodwill has this bench that can be definitely painted, repurposed. Oh my God, guess the price. $4.99, you would never, $4.99? I have no room for this in my small ass apartment, but like, what? I like want this so bad. If I had a house, I would like not even question buying this. So dope, I would love to paint this black or any color, like it's just beautiful sand it maybe oh my god okay so i quickly put them in my cart because i was like oh my god it says balmain <laughs> but this like this is almost as if like this was just put on there because honestly there's no other signage there's no other logos um the wax is a little on the yeah i've been used and abused side and these are legit like 25 dollars so for me, I'm thinking maybe it's a no, but I don't know. I mean, what y'all think? I wish I wish I could chime in right now and tell me, cause I'm like, where where does it? It would say it more places, right? Like, I don't know. I'm confused, y'all. What's up, y'all? Okay, I needed to chime in because after like me editing this vlog right now. I'm realizing that I really should have researched those ball main pants. I felt really pressured into getting straight to the register. Like I said, you only had 30 minutes to, you know, 
shop around and the clothing I accumulated I wasn't too sure about and I didn't want to just purchase it off impulse I wanted to like really look at the clothes so I just kind of like bypassed the Balmain pants so I googled them and they're actually worth $1,100 yeah and that's for the regular denim so I'm guessing the actual wax canvas ones are probably a little bit more because usually wax canvas does you know have a little more value to the denim um yeah your girl missed out <laughs> and they were only $24.99 so okay if you're thrifting definitely do your research um especially if you have time I know that now with COVID and shopping is just a ex different experience but if you have the time do the research it's definitely look on sites like Depop, Poshmark places that offer like gently used or pre-loved items that are luxury items so that you can kind of get a range of what the value is um but yeah definitely google go on those websites and search <laughs> i don't know i i know this stuff already and i have like looked up luxury items as i've thrifted but today i just felt like uh like <laughs> i don't know they were like calling my number they were like it's time for you to go to the register and i'm like mm, okay but yeah you know it's you live and you learn it's fine What's up, y'all? I am back home, and um, <sighs> that was an eventful trip. Standing outside for an hour, I did not expect to do, um, especially because they had only been open for an hour, so I just felt like by the time I got there, it was still going to be decent enough for me to just hop in and hop out, but no, there was still a line. They were only allowing 12 capacity, um, and you only had 30 minutes to shop, so, you know, basically when one person goes in you have to wait about 30 minutes for another person to like basically be able to go in so it was not fun oh the lighting is horrible okay so yeah it was not fun but you know it is what it is I did find a lot of gems I found clothes that I really thought I wanted to purchase but I ended up only getting some home decor stuff which is totally fine because that's really the only thing I went there for so let me show you what I got Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this vase, and it is so cute. I love the shape of it. I love the texture on it as well. It was literally $2.99, which is a steal for a vase like this. I feel like I could get one from H&M, and it will easily be $30, which that is from H&M this year, and... um I think it was on sale, but it was like definitely around a $30 mark. So like a really nice shaped vase is kind of pricey. So that was a great, great steal. Um, and I want to do a DIY project that I've been seeing floating around is you take a clear vase, you mix white paint with baking soda, and you basically paint it all over the vase. It really works well with textured vases like this one. And you let it dry. And then it's like these amazing like like little like decor pieces that you can pop everywhere and I want to like revamp my shelving area so I want to revamp like a lot of my decor and I really want it to be super clean lines and stuff so that's why I got this to do a DIY project so that should be soon to come to my channel the next two pieces I got are these mirrors how adorable I love like window effect that it gives i love this texture on this one even though it's a little scary because there is some peeling and i was nervous i was gonna get a splinter but i didn't this one was only 6.99 and then i also got this one this one was priced at 4.99 but i got it for 50 percent off so as you can see there uh all of the green tags were 50 percent off and so that was only what 250 or something like that crazy crazy steal my total was like $14 for those three pieces I could have easily spent like $200 on something like this brand new but I'm really excited that I got it for the low low I don't know exactly where I'm going to place these yet but I do want it to be staggered stacked like this um so preferably like leaning on a desk or some type of dresser or something so we're going to figure this out I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it green this smaller one but i think i definitely want to keep this like rustic black whatever color is going on with that i just need to make sure i super disinfect and clean them um but i'm thinking i may paint this one white stay tuned yeah so i'm about to figure out my life i definitely want to go to the grocery store i want to put up the curtains that i showed you guys earlier 
um and hopefully get that like done i don't know um and kind of see where this kind of area lands i also want to like hang a sheer panel and i'll insert like some inspirational photos um but i want to hang some type of sheer curtains so that it gives the illusion that this room is like cut off <laughs> it's not a part of the kitchen which we're kind of in so yeah um i may head back out to the store or i may order online because i do shop online with target and just get my things delivered so we'll see but uh i'm just gonna start working on organizing my little place and you know see how i feel